On the road up to Hartford, Connecticut for Retro World Expo, the Grab and Grub crew find themselves in Natural Bridge, Virginia, where a sign for an interesting looking restaurant caught their eyes, the Pink Cadillac. This is Grab and Grub. Welcome back to the Shady J Show, where he's the Shady J and I'm the show. What are we doing today, Jay? <laughs> well, today we are in Natural Bridge, Virginia, uh -huh. and we are That's at right. the Pink Cadillac. We are at the Pink Cadillac, but uh, we're not eating at this one. We're eating at that one. <laughs> <laughs> actually pretty good. It's a Moose Tracks shake. Moose Tracks kind of ice cream, what's in it? Caramel, peanut butter cups, chocolate, and stuff. It's not bad. I actually got the good end of the deal here because I have your leftover that they're like the overfill. I have a spoon and there's actual Moose Track chunks. Yeah. This is fucking awesome. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, so pink Cadillac shakes are good. Oreo. It's tasting very peanut butter and Oreo. You taste that? I think it's like a I mix think, of. I think there's Oreo chunks in it too. There might be. Maybe if there's not, it tastes like Oreo and peanut butter cups. You're right. It's actually. so good. I can feel the calories. If you come here, get a shake. What I have here is a quinoa brown rice and black bean burger topped with lettuce and tomato, seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper on what looks like um, Texas toast, buttered Texas toast. Oh, that's good as fuck. Is it really what it tastes like? It's like a black bean burger. A black bean burger. I can taste the I taste the black beans, I taste the rice. Dripping a little bit with sauce. The bread's nice, I like the bread, I like the bread. Nice and soft. As far as black bean burgers go, I give it like a seven. What is, what is the sauce? What's, what sauce is it? I can't remember. It's kind of like... I saw some dick you wanted to suck. <laughs> it's kind of like orange, I guess, a little bit. It's not too spicy though. But it really complements the flavor well. So I like it a lot. All right, so I got, I got a, the classic cheeseburger uh, with onions and tomatoes. I can feel the bread is super soft, kind of like Five Guys. I can just feel that without even biting into it, so. You like feeling Five Soft Guys? <laughs> I like feeling Five Soft Guys. That's like mom used to make, honestly. That's like a homemade patty. You can tell it's fresh. The bread is super soft. American cheese, well, America, so it speaks for itself. The tomatoes aren't all like, mushy. The tomato's good. The tomato's pretty good. Tomato's get one more, good. one more. You like it? I do, actually. It reminds me of a house burger, which is a good thing. How's it compared to Whataburger? You can't compare fast food burgers to a water burger. I just, I just want to know his, his opinion. You can't compare fast food burgers to not fast food burgers. They don't, they don't even stack up. So okay. I would say better than water burger because it's an actual, it's fresh. You know okay. what I mean? It's. Uh, it's that's the answer I was just saying. Yeah, yeah, you can't. I was just checking. Water burger is going to be one of the better fast food burgers out there, but this is a different. They're, they're judged on different criteria. I think we're talking like a restaurant burger versus a fast food restaurant burger. I uh, also got some chili cheese fries, so. Those are some big ass onion rings. Let me try those. 
Those are like, those are tire rings. Mm. Standard chili cheese, it's good, which is a good thing. I've had bad chili before on, on cheese fries and chili cheese fries and it ruins it. The chili's a little spicy, a little kick in that. Mm. And some onion rings. Oh, those need ketchup. This is pretty dope, though. The juicy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna pop them out. Did you just call doggy rings juicy? They're juicy. What do you want? They are. Right. Final thoughts coming up. Cadillac final thoughts right here shake was pretty good so good I decided to wear some of it as you can see um, actually no the shake was actually a good the burger reminded me of uh, actually a home-cooked burger which is a very good thing overall I'm gonna give the place about an eight I'm only gonna give it that because the onion rings were lacking in my opinion outside the, of the onion rings everything was pretty good definitely worth the 30 second detour off of interstate 81 here in Natural Bridge Virginia now look, I'm not an American, so I know what good food tastes like, and I do have to say that that was a damn fine, not a burger. And the onion rings, they grew on me after a little while. They don't taste like onion rings, they taste like fried onions, there's a big difference. But the main thing I really liked about this that I want to touch on that Jay didn't go into, I hope you don't mind me touching on it, is the actual atmosphere was quite nice. I liked being in an American diner, actually in the middle of nowhere America. It capsulized that really well, and I really reflected on the food that I was eating. Overall, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10.